Welcome to tutorials in hand.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to see about array index out of bound exception and how we can handle this. So array index out of bound exception is related with array. Suppose we have an array something like this where ARR is having the value 4, 12, 16, 18, 20 and 64 in it. So what happens is when we have an array which has values in it, then each value is assigned certain index right something like this so here what is happening is we have 4 at index 0 12 at index 1 16 at index 2 18 at index 3 20 at 4 and so on so we have our index for ar array arr array till 5 we have only 5 positions or 5 index for arr array as shown over here we can try to fetch the value right since each value is is of type integer so when we fetch any particular value from this array arr it will be of type int only so we are creating a variable of type int and now suppose if i want to fetch the value based on index suppose i want to fetch the value based on index 2 so if you go by this index then what will happen is 4 is at index 0 12 is at index 1 and 16 is at index 2 so this value 16 will be fetched at this place and that value is going to be assigned to this value variable let's print that value and see whether we are getting 16 or not so if we execute this now you will see the value 16 is getting printed over here because at index 2 the value was 16 now similarly we can fetch any value based on the index for example at 0 we have value 4 so index 0 has the value 4 which is getting printed on the screen if we execute this because this particular place will fetch this value 4 and it is going to get assigned at this variable and this value variable is getting printed at this place but our array does not have index 6 as we see that we do not have this index 6 for us right we do not have this index so if we try to fetch the value that is present at index 6 what will happen is our program will not be able to find this index 6 6 if it is not able to find the index 6 then it will not be able to understand that what value it should fetch and in that case what happens is it throws exception suppose we are trying to access the value at index 6 and we do not have that right because we have index 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 is not there so anything which is greater than 5 or anything which is less than 0 if placed over here then we are going to get exception and that exception is array index out of bound exception so let's execute this and see we are getting array index out of bound exception this array index out of bound exception is coming because this index does not exist 6 index does not exist similarly if you try to give something in negative like minus 1 and now execute this you will find the same exception java dot lang array index out of bound exception because this index does not exist okay so let's take length also so if we write arr dot length so arr dot length means we are trying to find out the length of this array so if we try to find out the length of the array then also what will happen is the length of the array is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have 6 elements so the length will be 6 and this arr dot length will be replaced by 6 and again we will get the same exception because length is 6 but since the counting for length starts from 1 and that is why we are having the 6 elements at this place but in case of index what happens is the counting does not start from 1 rather it starts from 0 and that is why our index is only up to 5 so if we try to print the length of the array that is 6 then also we will get the array index out of bound exception because 
because this array dot length will have the value 6 but our index is only up to 5 and that is why we will not be able to find out the element which is present at the index 6 means after index 5 we do not have any element and that is why if you execute this one also you will get index out of bound exception so this is all the possible ways which will give you array index out of bound exception now how do you handle this to handle this we can use try catch block we can enclose this particular code within try catch block but before we do that let's write one more line suppose here we perform some operation after we are getting exception so we are simply performing the addition on 6 plus 5 and then we are trying to print the result after we have printed the value and now if we execute this you will see that as soon as this line is executed that is line number 9 is executed you will get the error and it also shows that at line number error of your program tutorial in hand.java this exception has occurred array index out of bound and it also mentions that index 6 out of bound for length 6 so you have given index for the length of the array whose for the array whose length is 6 that is why its index is limited to only 5 it cannot be 6 and that is why array index out of bound exception is occurring and once this exception occurs you see this abrupt message on the console and none of the these statements which is after this or uh, is getting executed just because this exception occurred now how do we handle this we can simply handle this using try catch block we know that this can throw exception that is index out of bound exception so what we will do is we will enclose this within try catch block and here in the catch block what we are going to do is we are going to have array index out of bound exception and then we are going to simply print the message index out of bound so this is the message that would be shown and then it will execute this one without any issue okay so what is happening is we are seeing there is a syntax error because we have not closed this try catch block so before writing catch we should close this try okay now it's okay so now if we execute this code what will happen is as soon as this line is executed Executed, that was throwing the array index out of bound exception then the call will be transferred to this catch block and catch block will handle this array index out of bound exception here it will simply print this message on the console that your this part of code that is your this portion of code has encountered issue that is array index out of bound exception so you should check it if your code is not working properly and then it will happily go ahead and execute rest of the statements without hampering the flow of the program earlier what happened is once this exception occurred the program was terminated and we did not print even these things which were not having any issue but in this case since we have used try and catch to handle the array index out of bound exception so what will happen is it will print this that index out of bound exception has occurred and then it will go to this line and execute 6 plus 5 and the value 11 will be stored in the result and this result will be printed on the screen so let's execute this and see what is happening see this time since array index out of bound exception occurred here because array dot length this value is 6 and we do not have index 6 in this array this array has only index from 0 to 5 and that is why 6 gives array index out of bound exception and as soon as array array index out of bound exception occurs we skip this line and the call is transferred to this catch block as i stated earlier and array index out of bound is found and this is getting printed on the screen and then we move ahead and print the rest of the lines in the code right so let's replace this 6 uh, with original array dot length that we had so now this is how array index out of bound exception occurs and this is the way we can handle it using try catch block right so hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial please like and subscribe our channel to help us motivate thank you